You're listening to Word Radio, 96.1 FM and 900 AM WURD. Robert Golfin, who has been a, he's been a friend to the show. He's been on here before. But, um, you know, what I love about him is coming from Philadelphia and seeing him on stage, seeing him in these movies. And that is one of the things that amazes me about you, Robert, is that you haven't stopped. You're still doing your thing. We also have Sean Passwaters, who's joined us today, and he worked with Robert when he first started out early in the days. But I want to ask you a question, though, Robert. Uh, yes. I saw in your bio where you have appeared on The Wire. What, where, where was you at on The Wire? Because I watched I was, The Wire religiously. I had a very brief role of oh. the blink. You, you'd miss me, but okay. <laughs> I was on season three. Uh, I played a crackhead who was trying to sell Bubbles a, 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 a toaster. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny because I was in college at the time. I went back to school, you know, because I don't generally tell people when I'm doing something because this is an industry right. where you just never know if something's actually going to happen or not. Even if you shoot it, you don't know. Uh, but I went back to campus and everybody was like, hey, aren't you the crack man? You know, it was hilarious. <laughs> but, uh, that was great for me. I felt accomplished that I, I actually set out to play this role and then I did it successfully. Mm -hmm. And then of okay. course I had other actors who were starring on the show right. came up to me mm -hmm. on set and they were like, you play a mean crackhead. So, <laughs> I, you know. <laughs> they had the writer strike first and then they had the actor strike. Did you guys see a lot of people, um, celebrities that was elbow to elbow in the strike? You never knew who you would bump into and there was such unity on the line. No egos or anything like that, which is very unlike our industry. <laughs> I crossed paths with Cameron Manheim from Law and & Order and Gina Torres from Suits and 911, Lone Star, and a whole bunch of showrunners as well. So, And you don't always know who everybody is, but you know, oh, that person, I know their face. Yeah, they look familiar. You know, you know their face. But at least the doors are open and you guys will start working again. 